Luxury manufacturer Concord was founded in 1981 by the father of one of the owners of Morello, curiously enough, and I think they started out with doing VW conversions. In the same way as actually Cartago also did the same sort of thing. That's why, for example, I had a Cartago VW van, which you can see on my websites. For its 35th anniversary this year, 2016, Concorde has produced 35 of these vehicles and you won't see many nicer vehicles than this. Perhaps I'll tell you the price first, it's just short of a quarter of a million euros. Well, let's have a look at the uh, technical uh, bits to it before we go inside. So you've got its uh, dimensions there. It 866 centimeters long, 238 centimeters wide, 200, sorry, 359 high, and there's plenty of headroom inside as well. So you've got a massive 1.2 tons of payload in a vehicle which has a gross vehicle weight of 7.2 tons. Only 35 of these vehicles will be made. Starting off at the back, look at the garage. Well, I don't know how many bikes you can get in there, but there's a huge amount of them. Not only that, you've got your electrics here in a uh, relatively easy place for access. So, inverters, got solar. In fact, here we can see some of the uh, companies which uh, were involved in this project. So, it's on an Iveco chassis. I've uh, got the solar panels already installed. Let's go up inside and this is, I think, pretty outstanding. It's a vehicle for two, so there's no bed above the driving compartment or anything like that. The uh, wonderful sitting position, uh, panoramic view uh, with the blackout uh, screen, of course, uh, which, co which is electric seats amazing and uh, let's come through the entire vehicle uh, kitchen uh, to be quite honest uh, it's difficult to actually make the kitchen uh, particularly special i mean there's not much more you can do to a standard kitchen of course but it's the fittings and shelves of this nature how how stable are they to keep things in when the car's in motion mm, i don't know i'm unable to uh, answer that one you've got a sink which is not only wide but it's also deep although i think this thing here looks a bit more like a shower than a kitchen uh, tap coming in to the bedroom now the bed is very low so i mean there's plenty uh, it's, it's, that should be easy to get into of course now always I'm on about having beds higher, but it's going to make you more garage space. But we're already pretty high as it is. You saw the garage. I don't think you need any more space than that. And this gives a huge amount of uh, sleeping space. Toilet, which I believe is porcelain. It is. And, uh, and it looks quite similar to a domestic toilet. The shower is enormous, but... Uh, Pièce de résistance, in my opinion, is actually this almost walk-in cupboard and uh, wardrobe. Plenty of space in there for all your stuff. I think this really, I mean, is probably the nicest vehicle I've seen so far. Uh, I may yet see a nicer vehicle at this uh, trade fair, but this would be extremely hard to beat. Uh, but, you know, a quarter of a million euros, who's got that type of money? And as only 35 of them are being built, it's going to be some time before any of them appear on the second-hand market. But look on the positive side. Maybe in 30 years' time, one of them will come up on eBay or whatever will be around then, and you'll be able to buy it as a classic model.